Welcome to Next Purchase, your insider spot for techs and trends. Whether you're looking for something rugged, stylish, or practical, I have something for everyone here today. All these blades are from 704 Tactical Blades. Let's dive in and take a closer look at each one, starting with this one, which is the Urban Ranger. This knife has a really cool 3.4 inch Damascus steel blade that's really impressive for a pocket knife. For anyone who appreciates a nice blade, this Damascus steel blade with the wave pattern is just beautiful. This knife is really great for everyday carry or EDC, as a lot of people call it. You'll get this really nice G10 ruggedized handle. And thanks to the full size blade, it feels really nice and substantial. Plus, it's got this nice reverse full pocket clip, so you can put it on either side, depending if you're right or left handed. The downside is it's 4.9 ounces, which is a little on the heavier side for a pocket knife. So if you're looking for something that will tuck in nice and small, you won't ever notice this might not be the option for you. If you want something that has a really nice solid feel in the hand, this one delivers. This knife has a lock that once it's open locks in place, so to fold it you just use this inner lever, pop that out, and then close it. The next one up here is the Harbor Master. Let's unbox it and check it out. This is the Harbor Master. It is the practical, multifunctional knife in this lineup today. First off, we have this nice black D2 steel blade, plus it's a leaf shape, which gives it more versatility. This three inch blade is perfect for cutting and precision tasks. One of my favorite things about this knife is the ball opener that's built right into the blade that's accessible when the knife is folded. This knife also has the ambidextrous crossbar lock, so if you're left-handed, this will work perfect for you too. It also has a reversible belt clip, so again, if you're left-handed, you could throw it onto the other side and you could still use the knife fully with your left hand. So, some people may not love the leaf-shaped blade because it's not traditional, and at 4.3 ounces, it's still on the heavier side, but it is just a slightly bit lighter than the Urban Ranger. Now, let's move on to something with a little bit more style, the Midnight Scout. So if you want a knife that looks incredible and works really well, this might be the knife for you. So this one has a 3.35 inch Damascus steel blade, so you still get that stunning wave pattern, but it's a little bit more compact. It's perfect because it's high end, it offers a beautiful craftsmanship look with the bloodwood handle, and it's completely unique. The Midnight Scout feels like a beautiful piece with the blood sandalwood handle. It's perfect for anyone who likes a unique knife with this beautiful craftsmanship and design. However, style comes to the trade-off. At 3.8 ounces, it is on the heavier side, but not the heaviest, but it is still noticeable. Plus, with the premium look, it probably isn't the one you'll reach for if you're doing some quick, rough tasks. Let's take a look at something a bit tougher, the Fang. Here's the Fang. It's all about precision and durability. This one has a 3.22 inch Tanto blade, which is a unique shape. It's a bit more angular, so it's designed perfectly for durability and strength for things that need a little bit more precision. It's a fantastic choice for people who want a blade that will handle more. It has a ambidextrous crossbar lock, a really nice G10 handle, a really nice D2 steel blade, and then the pocket clip is reversible, so you could put on either side of the handle. The small con of this knife is that it's a little bit on the heavier side at four ounces. This is super solid and dependable. However, if you want something for everyday carry, this might be a little bit of overkill. Finally, we have the Hornet. It has a 3.17 inch blade, which offers a more precise cut. The blade shape is great for tasks that need exact cutting. The Hornet is also really easy to handle, and like others, it has the textured G10 grip. If you want something that's functional and also on the lighter side, this could be the one. The blade is also D2 steel, 
and then it has a ambidextrous crossbar release and then the belt clip is reversible on either side with a lanyard loop as well. However, the blade is a little bit on the smaller side, which is really great for the precise work, but not as great for the heavy duty tasks. If you're looking for something really robust, one of our options earlier in the video is better suited for you. So now that we reviewed all five of these knives, let's talk about the best uses for each of them. But each one has a different use and specialty, so let's make sure you know which one to pick for your jobs. If you need durability and a full-size blade, go with the Fang or the Ranger. For something stylish and practical, the Midnight Scout offers that look and feel. If you're looking for a practical daily option with some extras like the ball opener, the Hopper Master is great. And for those who like precision with the easy grip, the Hornet is ideal. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell so you never miss the opportunity to stay elevated on your shopping game with next purchase.